everyone and welcome to the magical world of pyrography. How come that Werewolfa has not made a single wolf on her channel yet? So today I am finally burning a wolf. For this I took a slice of my trusted older wood with bark. This kind of wood is quite hard and not the easiest to burn, but with a lot of patient working it is possible to achieve really good results. I took this free photo as a reference. But I do not have an intention to burn exactly this image. I had much fun with Gailey's Duncan last week, so this week I want to recreate that beautiful night lighting for this wolf. And while I am busy with outlining my wolf and doing some basic shading, I would like to vent, so to speak. If I do not find any interesting audiobook, movie or TV series, I tend to spend ridiculous time on YouTube while working. It is easier for me when I have something engaging as a background. Of course, what I watch there are creators with some amount of success, because it is really hard to find smaller creators so I cannot help but compare myself with them and telling me that I am just bad. I guess that is why I have chosen a wolf today. I was always good at depicting animals and I just need to remind myself that I am not bad at all. Also, playing with my favorite lighting helps boosting confidence. And I am not a successful person sharing my success story. I am still struggling with my arts and just sharing my journey which I believe can inspire someone who is struggling as well. The most important thing is to do something which you really enjoy. I sometimes fall into this social media hole, thinking that the quality of my art or even of me as a person can be measured by likes, comments, views and such. And this, of course, is just not true. Algorithm has its own ideas and you cannot let it decide if you are actually a worthy person. YouTube is not my primary job. I do commissions, take part in exhibitions and also sell my pyrographies at fairs. filming my arts because I really enjoy the process. I like to edit my footage, play with overlay, fire overlay particularly, figuring out what works and what does not work. It is actually fun. But all these recommendations like how to be successful on YouTube sometimes seem almost cryptic to me. Pay attention to this, pay attention to that, and I am like, what? It is hard enough to make a decent artwork every week, but worrying about marketing strategies makes it really overwhelming. So in order not to get crazy, I am improving one little step at a time. 
I am still on a journey to find a compromise between pleasing the algorithm and staying true to myself and my art. If I ever find this compromise, I will let you know. Or maybe you will see it for yourself when my channel suddenly becomes successful. and it is surprisingly easy to depict hairy structure with a burning pen. For me, it is much easier than with a pencil, because this burning tool carves slightly into wood, which feels like good support for my hand. I am getting more and more happy with how my pyrography turns out. As you can see, all the wood has very prominent grain. If it were pine or poplar, there would be no way I could burn over it so easily. The wolf clearly dominates over this grain and this is exactly what I am going for. I want my pyrography look as realistic as possible. The right side of my wolf is a bit of a struggle. Clearly, it has to be darker than the left if I want to create this beautiful lighting I am going for. I am still not sure how dark it has to be, 
but my experience tells me that darker is always better. Contrast makes any artwork really eye-catching. I have left some space at the right, because I want to burn a dark tree trunk there. The light source is definitely on the left, so now I am trying my best to make the right side of the wolf darker. It will take some time, because this wood is quite hard, but I really see the potential in this pyrography, so I am determined to build this dark value to my liking. so easy for me to burn, but so hard to explain how I do it. I tried once to explain the process to my husband, but he did not really understand it. An angle to hold a burning tool is a decisive thing for comfortable burning, as well as personal habits. All those things are highly individual. I, for example, have to bend and use spoon pen several times before I achieve comfortable grip. But I know a few artists who prefer working with factory settings, so to speak. The same applies for burning itself. I cannot depict a long straight line, so I like to build it out of many small lines. Some say it is a lack of skill, but honestly, I do not think so.
even while I am working on a background, I keep coming back to the right side of the wolf. I just want even darker values, otherwise this wolf would not look like he really belongs here. He might look like something glued on, and this is definitely not what I need here.
started burning the tree and then had to send it away, because I just forgot that the tree needs some texture, otherwise no one would recognize that it is a tree. For the darkest values I took the original brand Petter burning pan. It can take more heat than razor tip pens, which I use most of the time. Now I'm happy about the tree and I can take my white peat artist pen brush to take care of the highlights and add some stars. Actually, I use this marker to draw the lights of those stars. With white acrylic paint, I make some bright dots in the middle of these white circles. Later, I add a bit of tiny stars with my marker as well. Now my dark wolf is finished. Look how different from the reference photo the final picture is. I am really happy with the result. And what do you think about this biography? Have I managed to bring my idea to its full potential? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you like my video, please support me with your likes, subscribe, click the bell button. This will really help my small channel grow. And I will see you next week in my new video. Send you a lot of inspiration. Bye!